holy smokes, that was a lot to unpack from the Surface event. Did you catch the Surface Book 4? No, I'm kidding. Uh, they launched the Surface Laptop Studio, which I feel is a spiritual successor to the Surface Book 3 that we have over here. Because honestly, when's the last time you actually detached this screen, turned this whole laptop around, reattached it, and bent it down? I don't think that happened. So with the Surface Laptop Studio, they brought the hinge all the way down, detachable, where you can bring it all the way to the top of the touchpad. That's the first change. The touchpad on the Surface Laptop Studio is also the biggest. It's also the most powerful Surface with the RTX 3050 and the latest Intel Core processor. And aside from that, did you catch the 120 hertz refresh screens? Yeah, so now it's pretty versatile for work, productivity, and gaming. It has the Omnisonic speakers, and overall, it's just a better experience for those who really want to get a little more intimate with their device when they're drawing or using Photoshop. And the pen store it. So no longer do you have to store your Surface Pen, the newest edition, the Surface Pen 2, with very great haptic feedback on the sides of the device. You can store it right under the lip of the keyboard. A very unique design, especially when it's kind of raised and has the fans on the bottom of the Surface Laptop Studio. Um, we'll see how that holds up, but it's a very natural use case when you're working because with the Surface Dock, you're normally having it planted with say an external monitor and some keyboards and a, maybe your own webcam and your own mic if you want to have some studio upgrades. Having a dock there, you can bring the Surface screen closer to you without having to have any finicky devices or things that will open up um, for a screen that you'll actually use and won't be docked and disappeared in the corner. So that's the highlights for the Surface Laptop Studio. Let's move on to the Surface Duo 2. We have the first version over here. Did you catch the notifications on the light right there? That was really nice touch. Uh, I didn't catch that in any of the leaks. We saw that it has the new triple array of cameras. So it has your telephoto, your zoom in, ultra wide lens, and then finally has a camera itself. So that'll be great to see. Um, other than that, didn't see any significant boost and upgrades except for the Snapdragon um, 888, which would be upgraded to 5G speeds for the Surface Studio. So a lot of playing catch up there. Um, we'll see how that integrates in a lot of Windows 11 and Android app overlap. So let's see if they build that ecosystem. Otherwise, virtually all the same. It still has a touch sensor. Um, the screens be very beautiful. The hinge, all the form factor. Um, if you didn't like the 3x2 um, ratio before, well, you won't like it now because they didn't change any of the 3x2s on any of the devices. So the Surface Duo 2 has a personalized camera, the triple array. I don't think it folds back all the way, but it does have a nice um, notification sensor. So that's all the updates, major updates there. Surface Pro 8, well, versus the Surface Pro 7, it finally took some cues from the Pro X. It has narrower bezels on the sides. It's just as powerful, just as versatile if it's not broke don't fix it. The screen real estate's bigger and it captures at 120 hertz lens along with all the upgraded CPUs and GPUs. Um, let's go to the Surface Go 3, which is just uh, Intel Core i3. So just updated innards on that one, but spiritually it's the same as the Surface Go 2. Just your standard iterative updates in that one they showed just docking or something for students or more positioned as an iPad mini challenger, although the iPad mini revamp that came out uh, we'll make that a pretty interesting um, sell to see where that product category lands. We have a ton of selection of devices. Let me know what you guys think. Do you miss the Surface Book type of this former form factor category being the top of the line? Or do you appreciate the new Surface Laptop Studio um, name nominator that they're going with now? I'm going to miss the Surface Book name, so I hope they do something with um, that name and the brand and the line that it represents. But if the Surface Laptop Studio is the, the successor to it, and that's the, let's just say, the, the bleeding edge or the cutting edge of the ecosystem, then so be it. Can't wait to get my hands on it, and I'll have my first uh, impressions on that shortly. Okay, everyone, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.